Well, uh, I thought it was a, not a well played game. Like, like that. We got our coach and I played it. And it's just, it's just as simple as that. Uh, we we got to go back and, and fix a lot of things. You know, we had a, a lot of miscues uh, from our headsets not working really the whole game, but that's not an excuse. Uh, and we had way too many mistakes in all three phases of the game. And we did not play Wildcat football tonight. And uh, the team that made the most plays. And the least mistakes, they won the game. Coach, you talked earlier in the week about special teams being a big, big factor in this game, and it was right off the bat. You guys started with field goals tonight and extra points. They ran the fake punt for a first down and ended in a touchdown. I mean, how, how, how much of a backbreaker is just those, those missed opportunities on special teams? And they're, they're, it's huge because those are the things that we usually capitalize on. Uh, and, and we didn't do it tonight. And that's why I say I think, you know, in, in some areas we're out coached and we're out played tonight. And that's something that can't be tolerated. It's not going to be tolerated, and we definitely need to get it fixed tomorrow. Coach, you said earlier during the week that you don't really look at the statistics as a whole. At this time, you know, going into this game against the Rush, the team is 83rd, 182 yards. Tonight, 276 yards. This team right here, is the numbers matter at some point. How do you matter tonight? Well, I mean, the, the numbers won't ever matter if we don't matter. We did not tackle well tonight, and that's what allowed them to have those numbers. You know, you have to take your hat off to them. They schemed us up well, but when we were at the point of attack and, and could have made tackles, we didn't. So that's on us, and, and I'm not going to say the numbers didn't matter tonight, but uh, us not doing our jobs allow those numbers to, to be. On the other side, you guys running the ball has kind of been your bread and butter on 50, 59 yards on 39 carries. What were you seeing? Was it something from South Carolina State was doing defensively? Was it bad execution on your part? Or? We just did not pick up the blitzes enough. I mean, the, the, the looks were there. Uh, to, to call the plays that we had called into. We just did not pick up some of their blitzes and allow them to uh, have a few tackles for loss. So that, that was just something that uh, we did not do a great job of up front today. With hindsight being 2020, of course, uh, in the red zone, there was a lot of difficulty in the red zone, especially within the five yard distance. With the speed the team has, including the quarterback who also won, there were plays called up the middle for the running back constantly when it, it looked like it would have been something, if you did something different, you wouldn't have more success. No, and, and the reason we, we call those plays is because of the looks they gave us. The thing you don't, don't want to do against a team like them is run outside because they're, they're just as fast as we are outside. And we had looks up, up front in the middle that we thought we could take advantage of. We just didn't execute TVs were sacked six times tonight, three on that last drive, back to four on that last drive. Was it breakdowns up front, not picking up blitzes? Was it Kiwi's holding the ball too long, or what, what, what do you equate the six sacks? Uh, I think it was a little bit of both. You know, we, we did not, like I said earlier, we didn't pick up uh, a few of their blitzes, and, and that allowed them to, to have tackles for losses and have sacks. And I think, you know, maybe the Kiwi's was trying to find the perfect play or the perfect guy to get the ball to. And that does not exist in a situation like we're in tonight. You just have to, you have to play football. Second quarter, you guys have 13-7. You scored on back-to-back drives, and, and they scored 20 points in about six minutes. I mean, obviously, Akibius' interception was a, was a backbreaker. He kind of scrambled and threw it back across the middle of the field as part for a redshirt senior veteran to kind of make that play. I mean, is that just kind of on him trying to do too much or what? Well, trying to make a play. And, and you know, those things happen. You know, I'm not going to beat him up for it, but we're, we're not going to say that we're going to condone that type of play. Uh, he has to make better decisions, but at, at that point in time, he was just trying to make a play, trying to get us out of a hole uh, and make something happen for us. Jimmy, the block field goal there in the last couple minutes. What, what, what's going through your mind on that play? I and mean, obviously, if they hit that, it's over, and you don't even have a shot. So what did you see on the play, and, and, and how were you able to get through there? It was just, we just gave it up all week, and I lined up to the short side of the three and a half, and I went hard through the inside, and I just came up through the edge. And I had my hand in the and just shot my hands. Defensively, South Carolina State kind of, I, I, I don't want to say contains you, but, but they're obviously focusing on you and, and how to do a couple catches. Um, 
what what were you seeing out there offensively for you guys? Obviously, it was kind of a, just an uneven performance from you. What do you need to do better offensively going forward? Uh, we just got to eliminate the mistakes that we had tonight. They, they, they try to bottom me up and open up a lot of other receivers. So we just have to eliminate our mistakes and just play ball. Trevor Marquise, uh, defensively the first half, uh, kind of snowball there at the end of the first half. In the second half, you guys seemed to sort of figure out what they were doing. You got kind of, you back to back three and outs. You, you sniffed out the fake field goal there and you held them no points in the second half. So, what was the difference from that first half where they were kind of doing whatever they wanted? In the second half, we got to see to kind of get a grasp of what they were doing. Coach said we just made the mistakes in the second half. Uh, uh, not good enough, obviously, but uh, I feel like that's always key. I mentioned that earlier in the season. It's the most important thing is really the mistakes we make. Their, their last drive there at the end, they had eight or nine minute drive. We, I think they to third and like 15 or 16 men in the front of the draw for, for 17 or 18 yards and that was really kind of a back break. What, what did you guys see on that play? And, and I, I, obviously they're trying to run out the clock. Were you expecting to run? Was it a breakdown or what? We were stepping past and we saw the run. But of course, we got to get a we, we had to stop maybe after five yards and we missed the tackle. Can't do that for a as a defense, do you speak to one another when you notice that a team is running a lot and being effective doing it? As a team, or as a leader of the defense, what do you tell your teammates? I know you give me instructions from coach, but what do you tell your teammates as a player out there on the field trying to stop the truck? Set problems. Obviously, Coach Super had to go down to the field, and you looked like you took your headset off in basically the first quarter. What was what was the deal there? There was a frequency issue or something in the stadium. We couldn't. I think we used them the first part of the first quarter, and then and then middle of the fourth quarter. We used them. The, the whole time in between, we were out without it. How did you have to adjust? Well, I mean, we we already had some of our coaches on the field on defense, and Coach Super just had to come downstairs. And we communicate with the guys up in the box uh, through walkie talkies. I know you said you didn't want to make an excuse about that, but how can that change the flow of the game, the play call, and just the whole deal? Well, it, it takes him out of his element, sitting up top where he can see the whole field and see what's going on. He's being brought down to the field level, so it has a little bit of effect on the, the way he calls the game because it's at field level now. But, you know, at, at the end of the day, we, we have to coach better and we got to play better. And it's just simple as that. Coach, on special teams, especially kicking, uh, how do you overcome that? Because last week, this week, even more so this week, a lot on the line, uh, as far as this game goes, the kicking seems to be an Achilles heel. How do you fix that? Well, uh, it, it, it's not an excuse, but uh, today it was a different guy. You know, we, we, we got one guy fixed, and, and tonight it was a different guy, a guy that didn't have an issue last week. So. Uh, we just have to firm up, we have to shore up and, and get the mistakes fixed on tomorrow and move forward.